adventures of Captain J and Tiki. <laughs> well, Captain J today, Tiki's out of office as it seems. Uh, today, we're going to continue our adventures uh, exploring the United States and our 50 states. Uh, this week, we're heading down the coast a little further than we've been before to the great state of North Carolina. Uh, North Carolina has got a bunch of history with pirates and they've got a great sea coast. Now our guest today to teach us a little bit about North Carolina, he's uh, can be a little bit uh, scary at times I think if you're not expecting her, but she just so happened to be a very nice sea witch. So without further ado, take it away! Greetings, Captain J. Greetings, swashbucklers. I am Sophia the Sea Witch, and today I'm going to share some information with you on North Carolina. Uh, my assistant, Loki, will be joining us as well. North Carolina is a really long state, and in the east, it meets the Atlantic Ocean at the coast, and in the west, we have the Blue Ridge Mountains, which are part of the Appalachian Mountain chain. The Appalachian Mountains are a very long strand of mountains that start in New England, and they end in South Carolina. Don't they, Loki? The North Carolina state bird is the cardinal, a beautiful bright red bird. Our state tree is the pine. Our state flower is the dogwood. And we even have our own state fish. It's known as a channel bass, but it is also called a red drum. In the center of our state, we have our capital, Raleigh. Raleigh, North Carolina, which is named after Sir Walter Raleigh, and some say Sir Walter Raleigh was a pirate. He was maybe not so much a pirate as a privateer, because Sir Walter Raleigh served Queen Elizabeth, who was in power in the 16th century, which would have been the 1500s. Now, in 1585, Sir Walter Raleigh served Queen Elizabeth well in battle, and so she knighted him. That's what gave him the title Sir. In 1586, she sent him out on a voyage to conquer new land. He came to the New World, what we know as the United States, and he landed in a place called Roanoke, which we now know as North Carolina. It was around 1587 that the colony at Roanoke was established. Now, the Carolinas, North and South Carolina, were not part of the Carolinas that we know at that time. At that point in history, Virginia, the Dominion of Virginia, was in control of the states that we now know as North and South Carolina. And it really wasn't until approximately 1730, maybe at the tail end of the Golden Age of Piracy, that the states that we know as North and South Carolina became two separate states. Up until that point, they were just called Carolina. And King Charles, who was the king during the 1600s, that's who the state was named after, Carolinas, is the Latin name for Charles, and that's where the Carolinas, both North and South Carolina, got their names. It wasn't until 1798 that North Carolina became a state of its own. Something else coastal North Carolina is very famous for is the pirate Blackbeard. And since you're a fan of Captain J, I'm sure you know exactly who Blackbeard the pirate is. Now, even though Blackbeard tends to be North Carolina's most famous pirate, we have another pirate who hung out with Blackbeard, but he just never made it uh, to be as famous. And his name is Steed Bonnet. He's known as the Gentleman Pirate. Steed Bonnet knew Blackbeard, sailed with Blackbeard, was a contemporary of Blackbeard, and he and his men were captured in the Cape Fear River, um, which is in the southern part of coastal North Carolina. Ultimately, he and his pirate crew were taken to South Carolina for punishment. So keep that name in mind, Steed Bonnet. Not many people think of him when they think of North Carolina pirates, but he is one of them. 
Some other things that you might find interesting about North Carolina is that it's the birthplace of Pepsi, and it's also where the very first flight took place. On the Outer Banks at Kitty Hawk, Orville and Wilbur Wright flew an airplane for the very first time. There's a lot of history in North Carolina, a lot of wonderful things to see. So if there's ever an opportunity for you to come to this fine state, I hope you visit it from the coast to the mountains. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful and educational day. Oh my goodness, so much information. I just learned a whole great deal about North Carolina, didn't you? And from a sea witch to boot. Did you see all those skulls she had in the back there? And that little kitty Loki, he seems very, very fun, isn't he? Maybe we should get a little kitty on our ship. Or maybe not, I don't think Tiki would like that. Anyways, oh, we've gotta be sailing off and we will see you next time. Bye. like this video and you want to see more, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check out my books, Captain Jay and the Misfit Crew and Captain Jay and the Perfect Pet, both available on barnesandnoble.com, wordery.com, and amazon.com. We'll see you next time!